becoming oneself is often seen or labelled or described as a turbulent and a, a rocking time. And yet I believe becoming oneself is an essential part of our individual human evolution. It is something that needs to happen where we take this time to know for ourselves and feel for ourselves what it means to be human. Because so far in life, we would have only been told what it is to be human and defined our define ourselves on what we have been told. When we come back when we to ourselves and we become in oneself, it really is a stripping away, a stripping away of all the shoulds and the shouldn'ts, the have tos, the why nots, all the our culture, all those things that we have grown up on and, and just absorbed as truth without actually checking in whether they felt comfortable or whether they sat well with us as an individual. This is when life becomes very dull and grey and me mechanical and more of a, a doing and going through the motion. And when we have this time where everything just falls away and it feels like that, it's almost this cocoon world where we really get to listen to and meet and be with ourself. And this is important. And we get this time for reflection of our actions in the world so far and the ripple effect they've had, our behaviours, how we've related, how we've spoken to others, how we've treated others, how we've been with ourselves, the choices we've made, the the relationships we've had with ourselves and others and it is a re complete retracting of the external world so that we can really move into and become oneself and when we become oneself then how we step out and show up in the world has an authenticity to it, has an integration, an embodiment, a solidness to it because we've taken that time to know oneself, to listen to oneself, to meet oneself, to get rid of, to let go of the bullshit and the beliefs and the shoulds and shouldn'ts that never felt comfortable anyway and contained or restricted us. I've always described it as imagining that we are a child asleep on our parents' bed and one by one the guests come in and they chuck the coats on the sleeping child and those guests never return to collect their coats. And this is how becoming oneself is. We just look at each coat and each coat holds a belief and maybe a personality or someone who really um, impressed us and we just take a look at that coat and it, does it fit? Is it my coat? You know, when I put it on, is it comfortable? Do I feel good? Do I feel loving? Do I feel wholesome? Do I feel connected to myself? And if not, then we just throw it away and we can go through all this external stuff that we've taken on board and really check in with ourselves, not what we think it is to be human, not what we've been told it is to be human, but how does it feel to be human? 